Hello, um, this is Ginny here. Just want to show you how you can edit uh, GPX files uh, that is uploaded or taken from someone on a route, especially when you want to uh, uh, to follow and cycle, uh, or even run or maybe hike. Uh, but you want to start it at a location that is nearest uh, to you, especially when you're cycling, and, uh, and instead of starting at the start point. So. Um, this is pretty good, especially when you have um, uh, an event like the recently concluded um, uh, 100 anniversary Audax ride. Uh, and the app I'm going to use is actually my GPS files, and I'm going to show you how it's being done. So to get to my GPS files, you just uh, type in my gpsfiles.com instead of .com. You have to get to the app right right so here's the app itself so this is the default page that comes to if you go to my gps files.com it only lands you to the landing page and not to the app itself so over here you go to track and you open open the track that you have downloaded uh, i've gotten this uh, track from uh, the uh, singapore audax group uh, and here's it 100th anniversary audax uh, lp1 right so you just click on that and it opens so you can see in yellow that is the actual route itself and the start point they have done is actually at lamppost one now before you can do anything um, you need to make a copy of this route itself so go to window toolbox the toolbox actually appears here you can see track all right create copy or revert points so i'll create a copy first very important that you create a copy apply and a new track is created now you see the color coding is a bit different so the original one is in orange and the new one is in uh, navy actually so the one we're going to edit is the one in navy and not the one in orange which is the original so let's close this window over here so click on this all right and you click on edit now because i live very close to woodlands itself i want to start at this point here and I've actually figured it out that that's the closest to me. So let's zoom in, right? And I'm going to start here at uh, Woodlands Avenue 7 and Woodlands Avenue 4 at this junction over here. Now, um, so I'm going to click on here, right click. You've got to right click here and you say start here, all right? Now what happens is that it's going to erase everything that's before this point so this is the start point but you want to redraw those points again now uh, let's zoom out now you can see in yellow that's the original one right and it actually comes all the way down here to lamppost one and uh, well that's the actual start point that they have now we want to uh, retrace what is uh, tracked in yellow so you right click this over here and click on restart drawing and right let's restart drawing you can see that there's points over here that is for um, the yellow one which is the original now just click on that so it just restarts the drawing and what happens is that you just trace over what you have for the orange points which is the original Trace over all, you can see, you can trace over all of it. All right, trace over everything here. Screw, okay. And back to this point over here. Then left click onto it. That's it. So you have created a new track with a new. Uh, with a new um, uh, start point that's closer to you. Now, you can see there's over 3,000 over points, which is very great, especially when you want to make a GPX file. You want it to have lower number of points because that will use up less memory. This is pretty crucial, especially when you have um, your uh, head units uh, from Garmin or Wahoo. So you want to keep the size pretty small. So go up to Window. All right, go to Toolbox again. And then uh, click on size, 
All right, so then reduce it to 2,000 points, all right, or you can reduce it to 100 kilobytes uh, of data. So I would choose reduce it by 2,000 points. So you can see here it is 3,723 points you apply. Now it's reduced to 1,986 points, right? So let's close this box, right? And now that this is done, you can see there's a slight difference in the size, but um, more or less it will be the same. So all you just need to do is save as, all right? And it downloads, all right? The copy into your uh, download uh, folder. And that is it. That's how you make a copy with a new of a of a GPX tr track uh, with a new start point. Thank you for uh, listening to this video.